I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work Starting for, believe me. Take it to your hands, a plan. Your own hands can land your own brand. And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability. They want the credit. Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm f***ed off at these f***ing clowns Hoover up taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it it's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Right, good morning guys. Here we are with the breakfast connoisseur himself, Mr. Alan Norwich. Come on. What have we got going for breakfast, Al? Well, for you Dave, I've got your six bacon, some mushrooms, a tin of tomatoes, a tin of beans and five sausages and I'll do mine then. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So breakfast is sorted. Um, what are we having to drink? We'll have one of these lattes, I think. These are posh, aren't they? And uh, Al's got some bread and butter. I've got some rolls. Yeah. So, yes, breakfast. Looking good. Looking good from Al. Side door. Side door. Oh, he's got Lurpak. Posh here. Right. No, Not No, Let's hope for a good day. Right, we're out on the uh, match today. This is the second day of the festival. And uh, we drew last night in the pub, didn't we? Are you doing something ridiculous? No. We drew in the pub last night. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I've got a camera here on the front. Hello. We drew in the pub last night so again. Steady on, Dave. Stop getting angry. And um, I've drawn peg eight, and Alan's on thirteen. Are you? Shit! Absolutely crap. Man. Yeah, we're on Swallow Lake today, and they said it's not the greatest of pegs, but for both of us. But we were we Ben's in our team, and he's got a good peg, ante and Flair. then. And then is it Bryn, is it? Brendan. Brendan. He's, He's got, got a N peg, hasn't he? 20, yeah. Peg 21. Yeah. So we've got two good pegs and two absolute rubbish pegs today. So uh, we'll see what happens. We had a good day yesterday, though, didn't we? Yeah, we are lying. Where are we, Dave? We're in first position as first a team. First position, yeah, as a team. We're seven points. Yeah, so we're the first, the first, the second, and the third. So we did really well yesterday, didn't we? Mm. To say it didn't fish great. Yeah. And we thought we'd... Yeah. Made a bit of a boo boo, but yeah. it were all right in the end. Anyway, we had a lovely breakfast this morning, didn't we, Al? Like courtesy of uh, Mr. Norrish. And uh, <laughs> we're just about to get ready to go out. There's loads of cars going past, so we're going to be late to get into his pegs, aren't we? But we've got plenty of time. Yeah. One rod daddy today, feeder. Not a chance. It will be using the pole again. Yeah. I'll put money on it. Probably. Yeah. Thank you. But uh, let's see if we can get some good points today and let's get it done, Al, again. Come on. So we'll see you in a bit.
today. Look, young Oliver in the picture. Say hello, Oliver. <laughs> we're uh, on Swallow Lake. We're all set up. And um, I'm on peg nine today. So we'll turn you around and have a look at the peg. Right, here we are. We're all set up. Uh, I've got two feeder rods set up just in case one cracks off or something like that. Uh, we're going to be chucking a feeder in over across the far bank. And we're going to. I'd probably get there with my pole, but the wind is just ridiculous. So it doesn't look that windy on, on here, but it is really windy. So I don't think that we don't, we'd end up holding pole that long. So I've come a bit shorter today on the pole, but I think we'll get a few on the feeder, hopefully. Catch short, hopefully. And then maybe down this margin here to the left hand side, but it is all peg for peg. Um, all the way around, as you can see, the better pegs are up there because the lake's a little bit wider. So we think that um, Bankstick's got a good peg, Ben's got a good peg, Alan's over there, you can see him there. Um, not very good area, but you never know. Um, all lads are there just messing about and stuff just before the match, so that's it really. We're gonna try and hopefully get a few fish today. Um, we're doing all right in the league as a team, so hopefully we'll get some good points there's a match on the other side and it looks like that's just started so yeah there you go right let's uh hopefully have a good day today Two minutes from the off. It's probably gonna.
lost it, mate, haven't they? What? Two fish? Of bomb and pellet. Eight mil pellet. Cap and all. Now. It team in here ain't gonna take a pound off him. Three fishing first two hours. really hard going round these pegs we knew that uh, further around the corner where um, Bankstick and uh, Oliver is they're getting one a chuck round there as you can see so we're not going to compete with them best we can do is go to the heading section um, I think we'll have next door might be too but round here it's absolutely terrible I think Alan's struggling across he's probably third in his section at the minute um, I've heard Ben's doing really well on peg five I think it is he might be winning his section and then I don't know what Bryn's doing on end peg so the best me and Alan can do is a third I think and Hopefully Ben will win his and then Bryn will, Bryn will win his, that's, that's the best that we can hope for today I think, but uh, coming into the last hour, uh, you never know, so we'll carry on, keep trying to put a couple of fish in the net if we can, bonus if not then we've had it, but it's just nothing's working, it's everyone's struggling around my area, um, further around there where George is, that's a different section. George is probably winning that section and then these two have just had enough <laughs> it's terrible but hopefully Alan can keep catching a few he's got one on now I think and uh, put some more fish in there but that's it so we'll see what happens at the weigh-in
bits and Alan's got a big fish on and he really needs it to win the section. These are all starting catching around him. Just hopefully Alan gets his fish in. Well, we've just finished the match. I've got cheeseburger, chips, a bit of salad, and then Alan has got the mightiest fish of them all. Good beauty. Oh, lovely jubbly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So after a nice meal in the pub, the day two results were in and uh, I ended up coming third in a section with £32. Bankstick won it, uh, our section, but Nosha did really well and ended up coming back with a section win. So the winners on the day were Della, Bren and Bankstick and as a team we did the unbelievable of seven points in total for day two. Overall, we ended up on 14 points, which put us still in the lead. So, at the end of the day, it was lovely to just finish off in the hot tub. Don't forget to tune in to day three of the Westwood Lakes Mini Festival. Massive thank you to everybody that's watched the video. Please subscribe, and a massive thank you to all the members. Hit the join button if you want to become a member. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you soon. Keep on bagging. Guys, thanks for tuning on the video. If you want to see more videos, hit this awesome playlist down here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you want to become a member, hit the join button. Thanks for watching the video guys. We'll see you soon. Keep on bagging.